But we're here with Ella and Tracy. Uh, again, Ella, our wish grit, our wish kid, and part of our wish family. And I didn't even get a chance to get into it, Ella, but near and dear to my heart as a wish kid, like I said, one of my favorite wish kids because my wife was your wish granter, wasn't she? Yeah. Yeah, she was. Her and a few others. It was it's incredible. And I can't thank you guys enough for being here because there's actually Deb Parenti who's actually writing a book about your story. Can you tell us a little bit about your story and, and your wish and, and what you got granted? Um, so, um, my wish was Disney World, and since I didn't have any siblings, I, um, they asked me if I wanted to bring a friend, and my best friend Emma, I brought her on my wish trip with me. Oh yeah, that, that's great. And what is the book about? What's the book about? It's about me and her friendship. Yeah, because there was something special that happened during your during your your stint in, in your your um when you were sick, right? Your your friend Emma, what did she do? Um, so she wanted to do something nice, so her and her mom decided that Emma should shave her head for me. Oh, that's incredible. So when you were losing your hair because of the chemo treatments you were going through, she actually shaved her head to help you be, be feel like she's one with you. Yeah. What an incredible experience. And and is that what Deb's writing the book about, that whole experience? Yep, yeah, their friendship. That's incredible. And Tracy, what does that mean to you Ugh. as the parent and the mom? Yeah, it's overwhelming, um, but it's just a beautiful gesture because they do have a story and people need to hear it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and children's wishes, oh. Tracy? Well, we're here tonight because it's everything. We're family. We've become family. We just love everything about children's wishes. We can't say enough good things. Yes, and, and, and it's incredible, and I can't wait to hear more about the about the book. And, and we can hear, actually hear directly from the author. Here's a few words from Deb about the book. So I was very fortunate to meet Mary O'Rourke by accident and um, my boxer Tyson happened to get up about one hour earlier than he normally does so we were walking and I came upon Mary uh, walking her two um, King Charles Spaniels and she and I got talking and it, it, it was quite evident that it was no accident that Mary and I bumped into each other and she and invited me to the gala and um, the rest is history. I mean it's just another way for me to give back to this incredible, incredible organization. Uh, Mary sent me some literature on, a, you know, two or three wishes and um, one of them was the story about Ella and Emma and um, as I thought about it, I knew that that was the topic that I wanted to use um, to to write another book. Ella um, became uh, very sick, and um, after she started her therapies, she began to lose her hair. And um, at first, um, Emma, you know, convinced her, okay, so maybe we should just cut our hair. And then after, you know, moving forward, Ella really started to lose her hair. And then Emma came up with the idea that she would um, shave her head so Ella wouldn't be the only one who felt uncomfortable, different. So uh, maybe Emma wouldn't feel like such an outcast when she went back to school and, and started, you know, her activities again. I would like to encourage everyone um, to read my book, I Like Me. Um, I, I felt as though that my son had very low self-esteem, um, hence the reason why he may have turned to, um, to drugs, to mask maybe problems or the low self-esteem that he had. And this book is really about um, children who like certain things and who are different and just to let everybody know that it's okay. It's okay to be different. Um, it's, it's okay to be who you are and to love who you are. And when I go to schools and I speak about opioid addiction, I always encourage the students to get up every day and look in the mirror and love who they are.
What an incredible story, Ella. I, I am so proud and impressed about the woman that you're becoming. And uh, it's, it's an incredible journey, it's an incredible story. You and Emma, and you and Ella, and Emma, I'm sorry, you and Emma. <laughs> it happens. It happens. <laughs> uh, you and Emma, you just you just have such a bond and such a special, special connection. And I, I bet mom you're so proud of the, the girl she is oh, and the absolutely. woman she's becoming as well. Yeah. Um, I, I can't believe it. Uh, this this is going to be the last time you're on the camera tonight, but I bet there's going to be a lot more times of you're going to be taking over Children's Wishes Live, isn't there? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Blake's Kitchen, more more weather news reports. Are you going to be famous on the news someday? Probably. I hope so. I hope so. Like I said, don't forget me when you get to the top, all right? I hope so, too. <laughs> That's incredible. 